Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, dear listeners. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. Today, I will read to you the story of the so interesting project of Cardinet Chalabre by the atelier Phileas Architects. Phileas is based in Paris and works on numerous projects in Paris and the Ile de France region. Today, the agency is expanding throughout France and internationally. It collaborates with international agencies on competitions and iconic projects. Recently, it was in team with MAD Architects for the competition of the Olympic Aquatic Center of the 2024 OG of Paris in Saint-Denis. A fervent sense of the manufacturing of the 21st century city takes place in many territories, offering a real architectural diversity in break with the great ensembles of the last century. This diversity is not an accumulation of multiple and varied productions without unity when it is part of a reflection and an approach on an urban scale with, at the heart, the quality of use. The Phileas office has been involved since a long time in this effervescence, settling reflection and rezoning on a metropolitan scale to better engage architecture alongside social and environmental issues. The Cardinet Chalabre Joint Development Zone, ZAC, illustrates the great ambitions of the city of Paris for a sustainable city, the stake and challenge of the 21st century. In this district of the 17th arrondissement, northwest of Paris, buildings must be at least BBC, at best positive. This voluntary spirit is in line with that of the Filia Studio, winner in 2009 of the competition organized by the Régie Immobilière de la Ville de Paris for the development of Lot E4. The program is a student residence with 152 F1 type student housing units and one F3 type janitor's housing unit built according to Habitat et Environnement Profile A standards, option performance and Calitel BBC if energy label. A central kitchen for the production of 1,500 meals per day. 12th class multipurpose school and leisure center with HQU and F tertiary building certification BBC if energy label. The proposed program, elementary and primary school plus students' housings, called for an architectural language able to claim its peculiarity and its unity. Very young children learning to walk into their schooling and young adults would choose to go on studies. It also has to ensure the protection of the children under the responsibility of the teaching team. We really talk about innovation. We have implanted Holodad and improved our building in order to offer it an original morphology conducive to transitions, scale transition, urban transition, and generational transition. Scale transition with intermittent volumes, rather high for the students, low and familiar for the school, in order to ease the use of the school as a knowing building, appreciated with one glimpse by its young users. Transition for the views with a facade in front of the park, measuring with the Ibis Hotel, and a facade on the street, ending with a friendly and dynamic totem. This replies to the other park front, one of the impressive Parisian and Hispanic skyline below the railways. This contemporary graphic and playful building, compact as well as well spaced, is showing the aging transitions. Below, the school and youth center are separated by the playground and linked by a footbridge. The facades are made of grass walls and terracotta. The roofs are as well covered with grass and solar panels. On top, the two blocks for students, one long and one small tower, linked by a footbridge with the only hole on the park front. Sunshine on the facades and for the playground all over the year is one of the duties of this project. Most of the rooms are positioned south or southeast with no building opposite, a large view of the park, and this choice makes sure that we enjoy maximum of the solar contributions. Urban Landmark The facades illustrate the multiple transitions of the project, monumental and pedestrian scale, children and young adults, the nature of the park and the density of the city. 
The same terracotta brick cladding adorns the ensemble, but the different colors, green at the base and how many with the green roofs, and brown gray in the heights, make the distribution of the programs readable. The corner location of the project makes it an urban landmark identifiable on two scales. For pedestrians, a totem is the marker of the park entrance. On the metropolitan scale, it is a student housing that stands at and situates the building. The operation takes up the challenge of the cohabitation of scales and uses, giving each its place, its volume and its image. Versatility more than 9,000 square meters for a mixed program that includes a school, kindergarten and elementary, and its recreation center, as well as a collective kitchen to supply all the schools in the neighborhood, a residence with 152 student housing units and two functional apartments. Uses and users whose routes must be carefully marked out or even isolated. Kindergarten students do not cross paths with elementary school students. The recreation center must be able to operate when the schools are closed. The kitchen must be easily accessible to deliver the 1,500 meals it prepares each day, etc. And the students must have their own exits. Bordered by Martin Luther King Park on one side, the rectangular plot ends on a point. The imposing Ibis Hotel next door could have confined the project. On the contrary, it rises to 11 levels to reach its height and provide the neighborhood with a new landmark. The public programs are distributed in a bay that brings together the collective canteen in the basement and from the first floor, the leisure center and the two schools in two separate volumes. The heart of the block houses the school's courtyards on which the recreation center is open. The nursery school on the street side has only two levels, while the elementary school at the back of the block had three. A small scale for street side, familiar, low and enclosed spaces. The play of light and reflections give rhythm to the project. Mirror cap above the large playground, reflecting below the children's joyful activity when it reflects above sky and student residence. The central kitchen in the basement benefits from indirect natural lighting thanks to the loopholes and convex mirrors that bring natural light to this underground level. Above the central kitchen and the school, set over the elementary school, the student housing is spread over seven levels in a small tower with views of the nearby park and Paris. Their entrance at the bottom of the plot does not disturb the organization of the school premises without compromising on use, the residence has a spacious hall. The landings and common areas served by elevators are generous, convivial spaces allowing students to meet and get together. Small areas of freedom Behind the terracotta facade that adorns the twin monoliths superimposed on the school and leisure center, 152 studios of 19 square meters are repeated identically on seven levels. Breaking the monotony has been a permanent preoccupation. The student residence program imposes the serial logic and the architects have made it their strength. A successful gamble for the Filia studio that created a millimeter-sized rooms for the students' well-being. First by creating a compact 6-meter long piece of furniture, integrating an electric cupboard, shelves with compact blocks for the sanitary and kitchen areas, offices and storage. In order to offer students comfort in an airy living space, the entire block is protected by sliding PVC slats that allow the equipment to be open or hidden. The play of colors creates volume. The sleeping part is delimited with a color that unfolds for floor to ceiling, thus offering a feeling of enlarged volume. The prefabricated bathroom completes this millimeter size interiors to leave a larger living space. And to allow the students to have their own space, even a small one, the Filia Studio has created an interstice between the facade and the studio's large bay window, a duckboard podium, mini spaces of freedom to be appropriated. Delivered in 2013, this building is one of the first to be built in the BIA. Today, the building is under construction and under nets due to a problem in the manufacture of the terracotta bricks, which are the signature of the project. But the building should soon regain all its beauty. Thank you for listening. This was Esther for Anne Charlotte. Let's meet again soon for a new episode in English. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, 
Make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.